Dear Mr. Big Plays Inc., please teach me how to make sensual intercourse with thousands of women. Love from Big Plays Inc. Alright, I promised you a tutorial. I'm giving you a tutorial. This is a tutorial not on how to make sensual intercourse with thousands of women, but a tutorial on the second best thing how to make an over edited Dota video. Really any video, actually. These skills in Adobe After Effects are going to transfer into every game you could ever imagine, because this is a toolkit. The games are our paints, and we're going to like paint on that canvas. Alright, so, see here, you've opened up Adobe After Effects. I use CS 5.5. You can use whichever version. I don't know what's going to be different, but Big Plays Inc. Standard is Adobe After Effects CS 5.5. This is what the window looks like. Here is where you're going to find your composition. Here is the library window, not the project, window, whatever it is, I call it the library because this is where you're going to keep all your big plays, paints, all your paints for your plays. So like a paint might be a video, a paint might be a song. This is what you use to make your inspiration down here. This is the inspiration line. This is where the magic happens. You're going to drag your paints into the inspiration line. You get a paint, a magic picture, and it's going to turn up here, and it's going to be beautiful. So, first, you want to put some paints on your canvas. Firstly, find some stupid video where cool shit happens, like Sunstrike the Healing Wood. That's going to be funny. Someone Sunstrikes the Healing Wood. All right. So, you see that goes in the canvas. We want to put it on the fucking on the portrait. That goes on the fucking. The thing that the painter puts his thumb in and keeps his paints on. Whatever that is, that's what this window is called. This one's the canvas. So you're going to take your paint, you're going to put it on the canvas. And that's what it looks like. There you go. You can grab the guitar pick, you scroll along. Oh, oh, oh. Sun strikes a healing wood. That's what you do. You scroll back and forth. You can hit play to watch it. There it goes. There it goes. You can push zero to watch it rendered like that means sound will happen so you push zero on your number pad loads it out you push zero again watching it with sound so zero on your number pad it's a sound button it's really good so we got this it's a bit short it's gonna make the timeline longer so you get a composition composition settings make the duration like maybe a minute that gives us a lot of time we can zoom out down here Look at all this time we have to put flashing colors. All right, zoom in a bit. Got a good feel for it. Scroll around. Let's find where the sun strike happens. Oh, it's somewhere around here, but it's pretty close. So we're going to scroll by frame. These arrows up here, they let you scroll by frame. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oof, there it is. We missed it. Go back a few frames. That's where it is. 813. That's where the magic happens. Now we're going to properly mark that out by selecting this clip down here and then push Control Shift D. Oof. Check that shit out. See how it's split? Now we know that right there, that's where the magic happens. So, let's make the magic happen. Let's grab. Let's go with this. Uh, yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Scroll around here for a bit, maybe. That's pretty good. That's alright. Uh, dinosaurs. No, no, no acrylics. All right. So now we found it. We found our song. We're gonna put our song onto the painter thing. Then we can drag our song into the canvas. And now you see we got a song thing. Down here, that's the song. Look, we can click the arrows to open it up. When we look at the waveform, that's what the song looks like sound-wise. Now, this doesn't look like a drop at this point, because you see all the lines are though. But, visually, that's where we need the drop, because that's where it's marked out. So we're going to move the sound further down. That's pretty... It's all right. It's probably still intro. Probably still intro. Because you want a bit that's quiet, and then a bit that's really loud. That's where you'll find the drop. There, oh, here it comes. That'll be it. That'll be it right there. Hold on. 
Now we want to make this very exact. So what we do is down here, zooms in and out. We zoom all the way in. We want the drop to start here. So let's move it this way a bit. Oof. Oh, that's a rough split. Maybe start before. What we can do is we can check how it sounds by pushing zero, if you remember, to play it with sound. So we're going to go like start of the quiet bit and see how it works. That was pretty much perfect. Um, so yeah, that's how you move sound around. So you make the dubstep, make the wobs go where you want to go. What we do next is we put effects in, if you know. So we're going to open this back up, look at the waveform. This gives us a good idea of where to put our effects. See, it's like... Give it a sample. Alright, so first bit's got like three cool bits, because it goes like... So we can do a bit maybe on each bit, something like there. There you go, you get back. Goes bam bam. So that's a good point. We're gonna push Control Shift and D again while selecting our clip. That let's split it, and now we can put some fucking fancy ass effects on this. What are we gonna do? Maybe just maybe just zoom in to start. I reckon. What do you guys think? Share to zoom in. What you wanna do is you wanna select the clip. You go like transform, bingo bango. You all these options to do. You got position. You got scale. You got rotation. We're just going to zoom in on the sun strike for this bit here, I reckon. Just zoom in on the sun strike. How are we going to do that? We're going to use keyframes. We do that by pushing... There you go. See this little stopwatch? Beside scale, beside position. That turns it from like a same thing. Because you see now, scale is the same all the way along. It's 100%. But if we push a stopwatch... we make a keyframe at that point which tells this scene that at this point it's going to be a hundred percent so we want it to zoom in so at the end of the scene we're going to go like zoom in all the way oh look at that it's pretty right but you can see it's not zoomed in on the sun strike so we're going to change position as well so here click position makes a little little yellow keyframe which means there it's going to be at that position but you can see as it zooms in it's off position so at the end we're going to make another keyframe and move it onto the sun strike so now it zooms in on the sun strike how's that sound yeah zoom zoom's pretty good maybe we'll put some words on it now we got this next bit here uh, see that's where the next bit drops off so we're gonna click this control shift D it look at that it's split now we got this area here to work on what are we want to do with this good idea just make some flashing colors what's good for flashing colors you want to make an effect so with this selected go up here and click effect then we're gonna click look at all these effects there's a lot of good effects probably the most fun one you go to color correction we click colorama Whoa, what's going on here? Look at that, look at all those colors. Up here will be the effect controls. So you click around up here to control the effect. This is the color armor effect. What we want to do is we want to make the cycle repeat because as it repeats, it multiplies the color change and it's like, Whoa! so we're going to do that. All right, maybe start, start on maybe 30.3. Click that to make it a keyframe. So at that point it's at 30 and then later on down the line, Let's just make a lot of fucking color. Look at that. Whoa, Jesus. Ooh, that's probably too much. Maybe that much. That looks like a good amount. And you see by spreading out the keyframes, we make it change from the initial key change to the last key change. So it fucking multiplies. Let's look at that one. Let's see how I'm going. Eh, it's pretty right. Eh, blah. And then we get a last bit here before this next drop off. You see there, there's a weird like beat bit. That means it's going to start doing a different thing. So you go Control Shift D, split that up. Now we got this one here. What we want to do with this one is we want to combine all of what we know. So what we do is we go like open it up, 
open up transform and we want it to go we want to change position and scale and rotation this time so at this point they're all standard but at the end of the clip they're going to be changed up we're going to scale it up whoa we're going to rotate it around whoa that many times maybe we're not really, oh yeah we'll change position we'll go that way i reckon so there we go let's take a look There we go, that's some nice spin we got going on there. But that's not enough, we've left out our effects. So, let's apply an effect. Let's do Colorama. Colorama, oh look at that shit. But we're going to change it. Instead of the preset palette none, we're going to use preset palette rusty. That looks fucking dull. We're going to use preset Caribbean sunset. That's fucked. But uh, we'll find a good one. Maybe just Solarize Red. Just, uh, negative. Q cycle. Alpha round. That what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's not good. Solarized green. Yeah, it's the same thing, but we're gonna do it backwards this time. So it's gonna start like that. Set the keyframe at 7.5, and then we're gonna change it at the end to three. There we go. So we're gonna bam. Blah. That's pretty subtle though. So maybe we'll add another effect. That's a thing we can do. Yes, maybe some color correction. Maybe we will add a color balance. I reckon. No, we won't. Like hue and saturation. So it can be like, whoa, it's changing the whole thing's hue. That's crazy. Crazy. Oh. Alright, so, Master Hue. We're going to make a. Hold on. Down here we can change the effects down here, which can be easier for some. Hue saturation is one I find it easier for. We go to turn colorize on, which makes it that sort of weird thing. Let me just bump up the saturation. Now we can move these keyframes around, but we want to change the hue. It's the important thing from that to at the end. We can move this by X's. This works in a 360 thing? Yeah, because it's like a circle dial. So, instead of moving it by degrees, we can move it by like whole turns. If we move by a lot of whole turns, color is going to go instead of being gradual. So, let's look at that. <laughs> it's pretty good. Let's save it. Save it. Um, Sun Strike Award. There we go. We've saved our project. We don't lose important progress. That's nice. That's a nice shot. Alright. But. You can see all this white shit in the background. What's up with that? We gotta get rid of that. That's that's oh that's a waste of space. So when you got white shit in the background, you wanna put something behind it. Click layer, new, solid, pink works. We'll throw it. Now it's in front of everything, which is bad because we wanted a background. So over here we drag it down to behind everything. Now it's behind everything. But it's pretty solid. It's a solid colour, and we don't like that. So we're gonna select it. We're going to go Effect, let's go with Distort this time, maybe apply a Turbulent Displace. What does that do? I have no idea, <laughs> I've never used it before. We'll turn it up, fuck it, Just get turnt, there we go, look at that, oh, so turnt up. I don't think that did anything, so <laughs> let's do another Effect Color. Let's just go back to Colorama, you know, it works, it's nice. Now, because it's a solid color, color arm will just flip through all these, all this shit. It's crazy. So, cycle repetition at the start, cycle repetition at the end. Just make it big, 64. Now we got colors going against each other. This looks a bit dull though. You see how it's a very solid and dull color. It's add maybe like a stylized glow effect. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 yeah, maybe like a, a blur, let's blur it, camera lens, no, don't use camera lens blur, camera lens blur takes fucking forever to load, <laughs> fast blur, that's what we need, fast blur, oh, look at that, that is so blurry, maybe we move it off screen a bit, give it a bit of a, a thang, so it looks, looks different. We can change the blurriness too, so it looks like it's um, 
gets blurrier. I'll give it something different. Change the blurriness. There we go. Whoa, what's going on there? But you see now we got like a bit behind it. It's a white space. And white space is literally Satan. So, new solid object. Throw it behind. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's pretty weird looking. Colorize. <laughs> That's how you do it. Here we go. No, colorama. Sorry. My bad. Cycle it. Cycle these repetitions. If I can get this thing cycling. Maybe it'll be like alternate. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. It's pretty good. Alright. There we go. It's pretty right. Maybe we want more on this though. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the clip, copy it, paste it. So now we've got the whole clip again. And we're going to make like a... Let's make it slightly opaque. Pretty opaque. Change its rotation by... Like... 180 degrees. And then... Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe make it a bit more thing. And then maybe we could just do that again, you know? Do it again. But with like a different rotation. What's gonna happen here? <laughs> there you go, you've successfully completely destroyed about a third of a second of your video. <laughs> That's how you do it. Use keyframes, use effects. And what do we get in the end? What do we get in the end? What do we get in the end? We're going to scroll back to the start of the quiet part. Right about there, I think. And then we're just going to watch what we've done so far. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty colourful. It's pretty dubstepy. You know what? I think you guys can do the rest. Happy Easter, happy 420, GG you WP, noobs, you're fuck, love you all, goodbye, GG, WP, love you all.